Good morning and welcome to the Play Rosa Homestead. Well, today is day 26, I think, of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. My husband and I both worked at the food bank today and we were very, very, very busy. So that's a good thing. Um, it's sad that a lot of people are looking for food. Um, I wish more people would go into growing a garden or something because it could get to a point where there's no food at the food bank. But thank God there was and we filled up some cars with food and that's a good thing. So today we have a lot of eggs. So instead of water glassing more eggs, which I already showed you in a previous video how to do it, we're gonna make some deviled eggs. So what you're going to need is well, for the recipe I'm doing today, six eggs, a half a cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of mustard, a half a teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of vinegar. And then you'll need just a little paprika to put up on top. So basically, you just put your eggs in the water. Wait for the water to come to a boil. You put the eggs in first, then let it come to a boil and time it for 13 minutes. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start that process and I'll bring you back in when I go make the inside of the eggs. Okay? So don't go nowhere. I'll see you in a bit. So my timer's going to go off in three minutes. So let's start making the inside part minus the yellow oak. Yolk. So I've got a half a cup of mayonnaise here. I've got a tablespoon of mustard. I have got a half of a teaspoon of salt. I need to get some pepper. My top's coming off my pepper. That looks about right. Then I need a tablespoon and a half of apple cider vinegar. Now, as a little extra bonus, when I have some pickles in the refrigerator, I always use a little bit of pickle juice, and I'm going to use a teaspoon of it. It gives it that added extra little zing to it. And I'm going to mix this all around. We want to mix it really good. And I got about two minutes left. Then what you want to do when you bring the eggs inside is you want to take them out of the hot boiling water and put them in a little bit cooler water and keep bringing it down a little bit cooler, a little bit cooler, a little bit cooler. Okay, we'll be right back. So this is the way I break my eggs. You got your pointy egg and you, the pointy side of the egg and you've got the rounded side of the egg. What I do is I take the rounded side, pop down once. Does this always work? No. But I seem to get a better grip on what I'm doing. And believe me, I don't always have the nicest looking deviled eggs. I try, but sometimes they all come off perfect, other times they don't. After I get all the shell and that um, inner thing off, like, ooh, that was a perfect egg. I then put it back in cool water. Okay, so let me finish breaking up the eggs and I'll be right back. So all my eggs are now done. And I've got an old Tupperware uh, deviled egg container. It's really nice because it comes with its own top. And then you pop it open and there's these kind of trays inside. So they sit real nice in here. So I will take out a tray at a time. 
and you want to take your eggs. And God watched over me because all six eggs came out absolutely beautiful. So you, you got the top part here, the pointy and the rounded, and you cut from pointy to round. Then you take a spoon and you take your, you open it up a little bit like this, a little bit like this, and then just pop the yellow right inside. And then I put this right inside the egg carton. Pop the sides, pop that. And this is a great way to use up an overabundance of eggs. Or if you go to the store and they're on sale, go get them. Or like today, people that were at the food bank. People got eggs today. Okay, so I'm going to finish doing these. And I'll bring you back. So I have all that done. I threw my yellow in here. So now you want to mix it up. And you want to mix it up really good. You don't want a lot of chunks from the, from the yellow. So you want to make sure you get it really good. In fact, instead of using a spatula, I'm going to try a whisk because I could mash it down a little bit better. Now I want you to understand one thing. After you put it in the refrigerator, you're going to lose some of that vinegary taste if it's been in for like a day. And what me and my husband usually do is we just turn around and add more vinegar on top. Unless you don't, you're not a vinegary person, then you don't do that. Now I have to say I've done this before, but it seems like the inside is a little watery. And I know why now. Because this time I added the um, pickle juice to it. So it's a little on the butt. After being in the refrigerator, it is going to harden up. Except, I wish it was a little bit harder than that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around and put two more eggs in. And I'm going to boil them down because it's only a few minutes. So if you're going to add the pickle juice... Remember to cut back on your vinegar then. Okie doke, so I'll be back. So I'm back again. I added the two extra eggs into my dip right here, and I got a feeling that's going to be just perfect. Yes, makes it much thicker, which is good. Now, some people like it thicker than what I'm making it even. So, it, it all depends upon your preferences. Then when it comes time, all you do is you take your spoon. Take your egg. And just put it on. That's all there is to making deviled eggs. And then, like I said, also depending upon your preference, you just take a little paprika and I just tap it. And look how pretty they look. Isn't that pretty? Well, that's it for what I'm going to show you today. 
turning around and preserving your eggs, there's so much you can do with them. And we, me and my husband just love deviled eggs. The rest of the day, we have got a big bag of dehydrated paprika peppers. So we're gonna chop them all up and make them into a powder. I have more uh, calendula flowers that I have to dehydrate. And other than that, they're just small things around the house that I'm dehydrating and getting put on my shelves for later on in the year. Thanks again for visiting the Paletti Rosa Homestead. I look forward to seeing you for the next few days of the challenge. Please, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment, and if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe to my page. God bless everybody.